military. He doesn't shoot like a normal director. I mean, what he's doing is just different than what other people are doing. In which a man and a woman are joined together. It's like a roller coaster. You don't know what's gonna happen next. Do you want to be right or do you want to be happy? We go where instincts take us. Now this is gonna be amazing. In this movie, you really have to sort of allow the chaos to be the chaos of life, which is what Terry really wants. When we work with him, we have a feeling that we don't know what we're doing. But actually, he knows exactly. I think he knows perfectly. We spent a long time looking for Marina, for an actress who wasn't born in the United States, who would feel like an outsider in the small Oklahoma community. The very first time I went uh, auditioning for this was in Paris. I received just a page with uh, descriptions of uh, scenes. Everything was silent. The audition was silent. There was nothing to say. But I kind of understood um, what he wanted. Terry will always look for not somebody who can just become the character, but somebody who already possesses qualities that can give that character life that he as a writer might never envision. You know, I had been planning to just take a break after direct mode for a year and a half and then promoting the movie and really just being with my family. And this is probably the only movie uh, and the only guy who, if he called me up, who would say, all right, honey, sorry, I gotta go back and do another movie. But I was really, really excited. And you should have seen the place, you should have seen where I found her, in Paris, in this apartment. What was new to this movie was not ever having a formal script. <laughs> yeah, there was nothing to look at. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is very different from most, uh, most films. Terry basically kept describing my character and telling me more and more about her. Basically, I, I, I had that person coming to life in my mind, little by little. Terry gave me a lot of information so I could get a feeling for where my character maybe went to school, where she lived, where her parents lived. Terry told me more or less where was the frame of the character. Like, if he won't go that way, he will go this way. Based on that, I read some books, uh, I saw some documentaries. There was this amazing documentary of Mother Teresa, the Calcutta. He asked me to reread Anna Karenina, uh, Brother Karamazov, and The Idiot. All the three of them are that thick. There was a lot of reading. The syllabus was big. I read Heidegger just because I know that Terry did a translation of Heidegger, so I wanted to see if it would give me any insight. Uh, it gave me no insight. Yeah, I got a really just thorough education on lots of things. I think Terry's about building a really rich foundation, and then you just kind of pull little pieces out and little surprises come out of that. The process for, for the actors to, to really understand their characters was a constant evolution. It was something that was much different on day one than it was on day 30. In many ways, it, it wasn't a, a story that was, was crafted, it was one that was discovered. And having worked on Hollywood films for 10, 15 years, I was so used to the conventional script-based Hollywood system. And so it is freeing, it's very liberating to come in and, and work on Terry, I and mean, he's so creative and so generous. You go off on one story and there's another story there, and then there's another story there. 